Hello viewers and thank you for joining me on what is a very nice sunny day at Thruxton and a very rare visit to Thruxton Circuit. We don't get to go to Thruxton very often. Great track, very, very flowing, sweeping track, one of the fastest tracks in the UK. This is the green flag lap. I thought I'd fast forward that piece because that uh, can be a bit dull. It takes a bit of time when you're just warming the tires up. We're lined up on the grid. Red lights are on. Just getting ready to go. Red lights are out and we're off. Now, my car is not the quickest off the line, so I do get a little bit mullered at the start. I was expecting it, so I knew a couple of cars behind would get past me. Those boys uh, getting ahead there, BMW M3, was that Mazda RX8 on the Civic. But what they did in qualifying, maybe they didn't get a very clear lap. It's key to a good qualifying. Oh, you may wonder why I've gone off track there. Didn't look like I was going to miss the corner, but I had to go off track for some reason, and I will show you why. Here we go. Whoa, that could have been pretty nasty. Clarky coming at me in his Exocet Missile Ninja Turbo Renault 5 at a fair old rate of knots could have t-boned me big time and with such a massive field because Thruxton's quite rare it was a full grid I think there was 38 of us in total uh, had we come together at the sharp end of the grid that could have been a very big accident so very well avoided by myself the commentator mentioned it a few times as well so now I've got to start making my way through the pack um, I'm going to take it a little bit easy the rest of this lap. I uh, had to go off track as you saw, tyres are a bit dirty, you probably heard all the gravel I picked up. So just cleaning the tyres up, watching the cars ahead, see what they're up to. That's Church just gone through, I love that corner. Straight through Church, bit of acceleration down the straight, see if I can get Sonny Hardy in his baby blue Renault Clio. Yep, yeah, I've got him as well, have him on the brakes. From 5th to 4th to 3rd, through the chicane of 3rd, bit of curbing on the left there, bit of curbing on the right, and mind those little sausages they put in. Okay, so I've got a bit of a task now. The car I need to get ahead of is the white Renault Clio, who is at the front end of this group ahead, hopefully you can see him there. Um, because they've mixed the grid, they've put Trick Law, which is the series that I'm in, with the Nippons. Um, we had a little bit of a fall off of numbers over the season, so they, they mixed the grid. So I'm actually racing in the Trick Laws, which is the French cars in this grid, and that's the Renault Clio, white Renault Clio, right on the head of this lot. I'm going to get past. So I'm still trying to get some heat into my tyres, they haven't quite got up to speed yet. Very fast flowing piece here, fifth gear through here. I'm fifth gear through probably two thirds of the lap. Coming down to church, awesome corner, get this right. Gives you so much speed going down the straight. Through church, floored it now, absolutely flat out on the throttle. Get past this MR2, yeah, got in. I need to try and get on the back of the bunch ahead. I can see that I'm not really catching Tony Hunter in the white clear who's right ahead. Haven't really pulled much in on him, so I've got some work to do. So I need to get my head down, get through the chicane as quick as I can. Because my car hasn't really got the straight line speed, I do make a lot of my time up on the corners and the braking. And this right-hander here, I'm so much faster than anybody else from here. Just ride the kerb on the inside see how much I caught them up. Hopefully get on to the back of the Nova. That's Craig Wilkinson, get on the back of him. Whoa, a little bit hard on the brakes there, a little bit of a sideways moment. Thought I was going to go into the back of him then, luckily I didn't. Right, we've got the, uh, this is flat out, and then we've got a little sweeping left. Whoa! Gosh, I wasn't expecting him to slow down quite so much. But I, I took, take that, I get past him. That's another one down. I can see I'm still not really catching Tony Hunter, so I'm hoping 
I can get in before the end of the race. We'll see what, uh, see what we can do from here. Still quite a few laps to go. It's only a 15 minute race, so we haven't got much time. If you lose places on the grid, we haven't got a lot of time to actually make them up. Coming up behind Mike Harris in a similarly spent Persia 205 like mine. I carried more speed through church, so I'm able to carry that speed down the straight, get past him, just outbreak him. So actually I did quite well there. I can see that Tony Hunter is not too far ahead, a little bit wide there. So that compromised my exit, so they got away a bit. Gotta get myself back up, get my head down, get focused. Love that corner. Through the fourth, up to fifth. Into the complex. Just gotta keep it as neat and tidy as possible. Don't be tempted to go into those corners too fast, otherwise you compromise your exit. Bit of curve on the right there. Yeah, I'm still looking ahead. I can see that the white clear is not getting that much closer to me, so I've really got to get my head down, get focused on this. Start to use a bit more speed through the corners. Fifth gear all the way down here. down to church, then off, flat out now, get a little bit of compression, you just heard me, that would be my near side rear tyre, just scraping on the arch, let's go through church, there's a little bit of compression in the tyre. Now if those boys can fight ahead, that will help me catch them, because that will hold them up a bit. And we are catching them. This is uh, Nicky G, just ahead of me in the red Renault Clear. Nick Gwyn is his proper name. I call him Nicky G, or Tony's boyfriend. Get up behind Tony's boyfriend there. See if I can get past him here. S so much more speed through that right-hander. So that's another one down. So I'm now catching Tony quite nicely. I'm quite pleased with this. Here's my uh, target to win the race or well not win the race outright win the tricolor part of the race so this honda civic he's actually in the nipples and he's in my way hopefully he won't hold me up too much we've got a little rear wing there which helps him get around that left hander into the sweeping right Make sure you don't go out too wide. We'll straight line this piece down towards church. Get out wide. Cut in, floor it. Up to the curb on the left. Actually, I didn't use too much track. So now the Honda's getting past Tony, which is good. So I can now get up behind Tony and it's quite clear. Through the chicane as quick as possible. So here's my opportunity sweep around this right hander as fast as I can. And Tony's actually quite good around there. Up to the complex. That's where I had that uh, first lap incident. Was quite heavy on the brakes there, and then he gave me an opportunity on the exit of the complex if I can get past him. And we're also catching that Master RX8, so he's obviously got an issue because he was he flew off at the start, and now he's uh, I think he's got intermittent performance issues. I don't know if it's a turbo issue or, or something, but he slowed right down. We've all caught him, but now he's managing to stay ahead of us. Could give me an opportunity actually if I can get past him. Tony's going down the inside. I'm not sure I'm going to get through there. Didn't know how much space that master was going to take. He actually left me a good bit of space, but then he cut across like whoa! Hold on a second, I was just about to go through there. That's now given Tony a little bit of breathing space, and now I mean, you 
you can see in my rear view mirror, there's a red Renault Clio coming on my right hand side. That was uh, Tony's boyfriend, just coming to get past me, but he backed off. Ah, the Mazda's now holding up through the corners. See, he's got a, I don't know what his issue is, but he's very slow through the corners. Yeah. I put my hand up, I can see the yeah, he's obviously got flames on his horse, he's obviously got an issue, but then he goes. Look how much time I've lost to Tony, he's way ahead. Right, can I make this back up? I've got to get past this guy. You can see I put my hand up there because I wasn't too happy with him. Through the complex. And then he's, he seems to have performance again. Very frustrating, particularly as he's a nip on, not actually in our series. Right, I think I've passed him now. Just got to stop him from overtaking me again. Coming up behind John Lord in his very nicely presented Toyota Celica, orange and black. Good colour combination, that. He's given me the space, yeah, nice one. Well done, John. Now I've got a lot of time to make up. See how far ahead Tony is. I only got a couple more laps to go. So I've really got to get, get my head down. Hopefully Tony will make a mistake, which will really catch up with this all. So let's see how it pans out. After this came breaking as late as I can. Get through there as quick as I can. I'm starting to abuse the curbs a bit more now. Got to get, get up to him. Black and orange flag, which I hope is not for me. Because of the uh, going off road earlier at the uh, start of the first lap, I may have broken a bit of trim which might be falling off. Can't see anything, so I'm going to carry on. Can't hear anything, so I feel comfortable with the car. Tires have come in quite nicely. It's a little bit understeery nature of the track it does this uh, tarmac it strikes is quite abrasive so it does tear your tires so uh, you may have heard the Formula One drivers talking about um, was it bobbling the tires where they sort of like bead up it does happen to your tires at Thruxton as well because the tarmac is quite abrasive it really heats the tire surface up they bead up get a bit of over understeer so you're just going to try and battle your way through that Tires will come back to you. Fly through church as fast as I can. Now I can see that I'm now catching to it again. Quite pleased with this. I hope that I don't get bought by this back marker. Now to keep the left, bottom. Break as late as I can, catching Tony up quite nicely. Yeah, that was a good lap. I was very pleased with that. Good, clean, tidy, fast lap. Now, black and orange flag is still out. Hopefully it's not for me. I'm hoping it's actually the Mazda behind me. He may be dropping for years. He did have that issue. Good Mazda RX-8. Up to the complex. Right, let's see what we can do from here. Right, Tony's under pressure now. He can see that I'm catching. He's late on the brakes. Caught him up beautifully. Taking a bit of curb. I'm not sure how much time I've got left. So what I could do from here. Actually, Tony's very quick through that left one. I was surprised how quickly he went through there and it got away a bit. So I've got a lot of track left to catch him up. Get through this right hander as quick as I can. Don't go too wide. Straight line this piece, try and make the track as straight as you can, although there's corners, but straighten them out. Sweep through church, this is going very good, use all the track. Carry some good speed through there, I'm on him, I'm on him, can I pass him? Complex, 
break half the contact. Get the speed up, keep it tidy. Get into those apexes. Short just to that good exit out of the complex, right, catching up again. This time. Good race. Bit of a thumbs up to Tony. Thank you for watching.